Are we headed towards a jobless future? Is working and careers going to be a relic of the past? Imagine waking up one day and your career, your skills, everything you've ever worked for has been rendered obsolete by machines. My logic is often flawed. My methods are highly dubious. And my qualifications as a scientist are non-existent. In fact, if you're looking for reliable information, you might want to look literally anywhere else. But if you're here to get almost serious and have a good conversation about the future, my name is Jerfus. Welcome to my channel. What if I told you that human labor could become worthless? Not just physical labor, but also mental labor could be automated away by artificial intelligence. This could be exactly where we're hurtling towards whether we're ready for it or not. And we need to confront this head on. If society no longer operates under the premise of trading human labor for income and rights, how does the social contract need to change? We're talking about shifting away from the foundational systems that civilization has been built on for thousands of years. Just look at the threats looming over multiple job sectors. Transportation, delivery, self-driving cars are going to eliminate millions of driving jobs within a few years. Manufacturing, robots and automation are already decimating assembly line work and factory work. Even highly skilled jobs like programming, writing, and advanced data analysis are rapidly being displaced by advanced AI language models that can perform better than humans. This isn't science fiction. This is the here and now. And let's be clear, this is not just blue collar jobs, but the entire professional class is at risk of being replaced and automated away by advanced AI. Human workers are quickly becoming obsolete as the AI evolves at an exponential rate. For centuries, the social contract was simple. Citizens contribute labor, get an income, provide taxation, and they get a share of the public services in return. Rip that core premise away and you're dismantling the whole fucking system. Estimates I've seen online see that job losses by 2030 could, at the lowest, lose about 30% of the worldwide workforce, or at the highest, possibly 82% of all jobs on the planet automated away. So first, let's talk about the types of labor. We've transitioned a little bit, so we'll talk about it. Okay, say so the first type of labor, obviously, is unskilled labor. Moving heavy things, using your hands and your body to do things, maybe stocking shelves at night. Uh, my first job, I was a crater, which is what someone would make crates out of wood and put signs in them and ship them. And I, would, I worked at a place where we shipped interstate signs. Yes. Um, skilled labor, crafts such as carpentry, welders, truck drivers, um, hospital workers, service workers things of that sort, things where you need tools, materials, and a workspace to work properly. Lately, we have transitioned to professional slash knowledge work. Architects, lawyers, doctors, computer programmers. Uh, if you do it at a desk, in an office, in front of a computer, it's knowledge work. This includes management, leadership, et cetera, data analysis, customer service. We have primarily transitioned to a knowledge worker economy. And I will talk to you about what I mean when I talk about we shifted, all right? In the early part of the 20th century, a large portion of Americans were farmers. Here we go. Okay, so blue is rural share of pop total population. It was 60% in 1900, uh, with almost 40% of people working in farms. Continue that trend on down to year 2000. You've got 20% people living rural compared to 60. And only 7% of the U.S. population has a job related to farming. 
Um, here's a visual depiction of that. These are the counties, these, these pink counties. Those are all farming places. That's 1950. Here's 2000, significantly reduced. But the funny thing is, um, as the number of farms went down, the average size of farm went up completely inversely. It's absolutely insane. What do we got here? That just says that farms produce more specialized items now. Also, our farms have got increasingly more productive. Increasingly more productive. As we're able to offload more of that labor onto machinery um, uh, instead of uh, human labor and animal labor. But the fact of the matter is that 30% of the farming work was taken away in 100 years. This is to just show that over time, work trends change. I think we all know that, but they change drastically. So my question is, if the knowledge work that we're all doing now is going to be offloaded to AI automation, how are people going to pay their bills? A lot of people tie their identity and self-worth to their job. When our self-worth is too closely tied to our professional achievements, this can cause a huge setback for many. Now, I don't know if Americans and other people around the world are, are going to be prepared when they base their whole life around their job. If this is the inevitable outcome, which I likely think it is, and most experts also think it is, policymakers need to start entertaining some crazy ideas like paying people not to work. No work needed, all basic needs covered. I know it sounds crazy on its face, but how else do you prop up a society that's rapidly losing all of its human jobs? We would effectively need to pay them for living because they cannot earn an income from working anymore. And, the, and personally, I believe we're gonna have to establish some universal, unconditional human rights, like um, food, housing, healthcare, just to start. And if it turns out that none of us have to work anymore, what even is the purpose of all this? I think we're just supposed to be good fucking people to each other. Treat each other well. This existential labor crisis destroys centuries of defined human values and duties. We'd be drafting up an entirely new social contract from scratch. A few countries are taking baby steps towards UBI trying out different programs here and there. I'm not sure how well they're going, but taking something like that worldwide would be absolutely insane. Even US wide would be absolutely bonkers, man. It does bring up a thousand little thorny, pokey, prickly questions for us to not really be prepared to answer. There's no really a roadmap for when human labor value becomes worthless. That's the hard truth. We have no idea what we're going to do. But we better start talking about it and talking about it soon. I would hope for this to not get extremely worse before it gets extremely better. Because extremely better may never come. There's going to be a rocky road. There's going to be some really rough roads ahead for a lot of people before they even start to address this problem. Because they haven't even really identified the problem yet. The future of work is uncertain. But it's crucial to have this conversation. Now, what are your thoughts on the future of work? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop me a subscription. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jerfus. J-E-R-F-U-S. And I'll be right back after this commercial break.